Okay, uh, maybe I haven't been here before? Hmm. Oh, well, it's good place as any. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason, and today we find ourselves on a derelict shipwreck. I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? I just wanted to see if- uh, I just wanted to see if there was a, a quick way for me to, um, to, to grab that item. Uh, derelict shipwreck. That's right, upper level. Uh, we are traveling along the top part here. I'm heading back to, uh, the place where we were fighting the vampires before, so that, uh, we can go ahead and kill some vampires, because I- I'm pretty sure that that is what our- our, our quest currently is. Uh, Ashiams, I think I'll grab some of those, because they do, uh, fortify your intelligence, and that's something, um, you know, if we want to play around with alchemy a little bit, it's- it's a good thing to have. Uh, it's- so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and loot this, uh, loot this ship, and, uh, we'll be on our way to, to, to slay us some vampires. Alright, lockpick, you got one use. See, see if you can do it. Yes! Success! And, uh, the reward for this is, ooh, a grand soul gem. And 56 gold. And skooma! Oh, yeah, I, I like how the, uh, they've got, like, the, there was two bottles sort of hidden behind these, uh, this, uh, overturned, uh, stool. And we got a cruel f uh, flame bolt, two of them. Uh, so those are, uh, I guess, bolts we can use with a crossbow. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to use that right now. Yeah. Oh crap! The sun is up. Huh. You know what I think I might do? I might sleep in this uh, ship during the day, and then uh, first thing uh, come nightfall, uh, we'll head back over to that uh, the, the place with the other vampires. Your long blade skill has increased to 37. All right, I got totally lost. I forgot where where I was going. I just got, got kind of got sidetracked, but I ended up in this place over in the West Gas re uh, Gas Gas West Gash region, which I think is kind of cool. You got these these sort of big um, these uh, these these rope bridges that are just sort of suspended over these uh, these areas, and I don't know. I, I kind of like it. It's got a uh, it's got a cool vibe to it, and I don't know if I've ever been to this place. I, I know by this point it'd be like you must be like Jason. Have you ever even played Morrowind? Uh, and to which you know, honestly, I'm having some serious doubts now. Uh, we're we're what what wow, 129 uh, parts in, and I'm going. You know what? As much as I played this game, I, I think I may have just spent way too much time close to towns like um, Balamora and crap. Because, uh, <laughs> like, where am I? Uh, where the heck am I even, uh, even going? Because I know I'm nowhere near the, the, um, the vampire den I was at before. I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, it was down in this region here. Um, or maybe it was over there. Huh! Uh, regardless, regardless, uh, I love going and finding new places, and this does look like a new place. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save. I don't want, um, I don't want anyone trying to kill me. I don't want to, to, to have to kill anyone. I just want to know where this place is, so I'm gonna go over to this sign, and where are we at? Al, uh, sorry, Ald the Lothy. Cool. Wait, I, I swear I've been, uh, oh, wait, have I been here before? It looks familiar. I might, I may have been here at some point in the past. I really like it. It's a, it's a nice little, like a quiet, uh, port town, fishing village type place. Um... I was gonna go over to the, the boat and be like, hey, I'll go get some services, maybe I'll, I'll catch the boat over to Kull, and uh, that'll help me uh, get back on track to where I, where I want to be, where I'm supposed to be. Um, but, I, you know, I remember, I'm a vampire! You know, I can't have services, so... Um, <laughs> people are like, okay, you, it's okay, you can just go ahead and cut to, to the, the vampire killing now, Jason. I, I'm sorry, I wanted to show, uh, like, I, I'm in, un, uh, I'm in, um, areas that I've not uh, traversed uh, previously on, on camera, and I wanted to show that off. I, I, I particularly liked those, um, those, those rope bridges. Those were pretty cool. So, yeah, I'll be back. You know, there's one thing that has sort of stood out to me. Um, it's kind of a, an, an interesting little, uh, little thing. Um, the limit on how far you can see on your local map. Now, it's a little bit annoying. However, I, I can't help but be um, reminded. Of uh, the uh, the map system in Arena, 
Um, because if you'll recall, if you, if you watched that, um, that series uh, of mine, uh, and if not, if, you know, if you've played Arena, or if not, whatever, I'll just go ahead and explain things to you, <laughs> um, you will, uh, recall that there was a, uh, a limit to how far you could see. Now, in Arena, the, the, the landscape was basically all just randomly generated, and, uh, and as such, you know, it, uh, let me see, where's my, there we go, my levitation, uh, uh, blade. Uh, I'm like, I just need, I need a quick way over the, this mountain. Anyways, uh, in, in, um, in Arena, that's kind of a, a limitation of how the map was. You know, you came onto the, the map screen and, um, pretty, yeah, there we go. That's the one, I, that's where I wanted to go. See, I knew it was nearby, but I couldn't check because there was a limit on how far the local map would, uh, would, uh, would show me, um, things. And, uh, so that's uh, I don't I don't know it's, it's, it's uh, to me it's kind of interesting uh, having pl gone and uh, you know having played through um, the series uh, the way I have uh, you know uh, up to this point where uh, I've started with Arena and then I went through Daggerfall and now I'm doing Morrowind and with kind of doing uh, a little bit of uh, Battle Spar Spire on the side and uh, it is so interesting ah oh, go away. Um, to kind of come back now and uh, and see maybe it will say how uh, things started or maybe, maybe not sorry not uh, see callbacks or see how things evolved um, you know like before I was you know I would look at the map system and okay cool you know I'd see it within the context of having played Morrowind um, however now that I've played uh, Arena I can I look back at the map system and go oh it's because Arena was like this. It's like a borrowed design aspect. Um, Alright, so I've, I've got to start killing vampires from other clans. Uh, Pelf. How are you doing, Mr. Pelf? Uh, part of me, you know what, actually... Whoa, whoa, hold up. Before we go ahead and start killing peoples. Uh, sneak. It's basically maxed out, right? Uh, is, is, is the sneak include pickpocketing? Yes, it is, okay. What I was, what I was, I was wondering, like, if it's, it's, if it's a skill that, um, if pickpocket was a different skill, I'm, I, I, what I was thinking was, uh, you know, I could, I could train it up, and then when I fail, then I just go ahead and kill them, but, by the sounds of things, you know, they are, um, already, huh, I, I wonder, have, I, 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 I don't know if I've ever put something on someone's person. I'm very curious about something, let's try something here. Um, where is my... My spell? It's not on my quick bar anymore. Why are you... Why is John Cena not on my quick bar anymore? There we go. Now it's on my quick bar. Alright, so we're gonna cast this. I'm kinda curious. This character is in combat. Why are you in combat? You should be chilled. See, so what I wanna do... Is I wanna put the, uh, the Dark Sun shield on him. But I, I, I'm kinda curious. I'm like... On the one hand, it would suck because you'd probably equip it and start using it. If I could even fit it into his pockets. But on the other side, I'd like to see what it does to him as a vampire. So, um... Let me see. There we go. There we go. Uh, can I... Oh, that's, that's really big though. What's the weight on that? Weight's 30. Like, I'm not gonna be able to just slip that into his pocket and be like, Here, have a, have a, big, have a big shield. <laughs> uh, is the mace lighter? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna try giving him light a day. Oh, I can't put stuff in his pockets. I'm sorry, I had to try. That that just sounded too fun. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> Critical damage. You're dead. Uh, vampire dust. Eh, it's pretty light. It's worth quite a bit. I'll take it. Um, yeah, the axe is kind of meh. Uh, what have we got here? Common amulet and a common belt and common pants. He he needed to guard over. The, he needed to guard these things. Um, okay, let's see. Cheap disease resi resistance. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, I'm basically gonna make my way through here, um, killing all of the uh, all of the vampires and uh, grabbing all the loots. And I guess uh, you know so we can we can speed things up a little bit. Uh, you know even even though. I don't have that much time to record stuff, and uh, you'll end up getting shorter episodes. I feel like you know what? Maybe shorter. If it's if it's a shorter episode, 
but I'm able to cram, you know, more things into it. Like we, we feel, I feel like we make more progress. Then whatever. Um, I, I think because the way I've been, <laughs> here we go. I'm, I'm about to go ranting about something, and then people are gonna be like, uh, be like "Oh, look, you, you said you're gonna have a shorter episode, but nope." Um, uh, basically, I've been measuring what I've been putting out by the length of the videos that I'm putting out. You know, like. Uh, I want to try to get at least like half hour long videos, and you know I think some people like that. Uh, a lot of people tend to. I, I know when I used to do like 15 minute, even even when I was able to make longer videos, I, I stuck to the 15, and people still who are like, no, I want, uh, no, I want longer videos, um, and uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, you know. I, they, they they wanted me to have uh, longer videos, and I, and I I went ahead and I did it. I was like, okay, sure, we'll we'll do longer videos. Um, but uh, at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm wondering, is it better for me to uh, create content based on the amount of time that I have uh, to record? So r rather than being like, uh, I I need to have a, a, an episode at a, a minimum of this length. Um, regardless if my recording time just happens to be like half an hour to forty minutes. Is it better for me to uh, hit, try to hit that target and maybe take two days? Because, uh, you know, I don't always have a ton of time to, to record things. Is it better for me to, uh, like, take a couple days to record things? Or is it better just to, whatever I can record in one day, I turn that into an episode and I put that out? I, th I think that, that there's, there's, there's a, a case to be made for that being, uh, yeah. Uh, it was... Was there not something else here? I was gonna say there's gotta be another door, right? We, we came in through that door. That leads back up to the Ashlands region. Now there's that that's got that's caved in. Have I looked downstairs? Alright, so there was the room where we killed uh Geld. Geld Keld, whatever. Where we killed Keld. There we go. Uh and then there's this door to the lower level. So I'm hoping the lower level's got a lot of uh, vampires. There's a lot of, uh, a, a lot of cattle here. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, you know, um, <laughs> it's a pretty big place. Uh, at least it looks like a big place. Uh, I would have been kind of surprised if it was only those fir uh, first few rooms, but... Um, are you cattle? I, I don't think, yeah, I get, I get the impression that the, the vampires would not want to bestow the gift of vampirism upon lowly slave races. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this guy, there we go, this guy looks like a nice, nice vampire, vampire guy. I don't think he's gonna talk with us. Uh, I wanna get right behind him, and by ensuring that I've got Chameleon, I know he's not gonna turn to face me. Even if I walk right, right behind him, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I love how broken, uh, Chameleon is in this, uh, in this game. Uh, what do we got? Oh, oh, I, I see green. I'm like, ooh, glass. Uh, peacemaker, paralyzed for 10 seconds. Huh. If I didn't already have a really cool, uh, um, peace my bob, I, I might actually consider that. Uh, ooh, a bow. It's just a regular long bow, though. I, I, I'd be looking for a, I, I, I'd like a nice, oh, come on, I can't see anything. Here we go. Uh, is there a torch on the wall here anywhere? No. Oh, ooh, there's a candle. Can I carry a candle with me? No, not the candle. I gotta find like a lantern or something. Um, steel boots, exclusive fire resistance, a loot, potion of cure blight disease. I don't want to be needing that for a little while. All right, uh, let's break into this uh, this uh, this heavy Dwemer chest. Lockpick success. Uh, Dwemer hell. Yeah, this is some Dwemer stuff. Whoa, what is this? Oh, extravagant robe. Oh, and exquisite shoes. I, I could, I could look like an elf. Yay, with the little curls in the end. Uh, feather belt. No, there's nothing really here that I'm, I'm seeing. Like, like there's a lot of really nice clothing I could make some enchanted items out of. Um, and maybe I should. But you know, I think I'll just leave the stuff there for now, and then come back when my, uh, my enchant skills are just, uh, is just better. Uh, I need just, I need to start. I need to be making items out of crappy items. Hmm. Interesting. Die! Oh, hi! Ow! She spotted me. I really needed to use my John Cena there. Um, use my Band-Aid uh, to kill, uh, he uh, heal me. 
Uh, I'm note though, I, I was I was gonna comment before she so rudely attacked me uh, that she has very common clothing, uh, and I, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I can't remember the the the, uh, the vampire other vampires I just killed. Uh, they all typically had uh, at least armor on them, didn't they? So I, it, it kind of struck me. I was like, is that cattle? No, it can't be cattle. You know, she's she's got the got the face, got the face of a vampire. We know she's a vampire. Um, but I found it a little strange that uh, she wasn't armored. Like, uh, like this person. This person very clearly uh, is armored. Why don't we go ahead and make sure that we are uh, difficult to see? Because that is some uh, heavy armor. That's ebony, I believe. Die! Oh. oh, okay. Die! Oh crap! She's gone. Um. All right. Why don't you come back, and we'll have a uh, we'll, ha we'll have a fun time. Are you? Well, there you are. Ah, crap. There we go. We'll we'll arrow her a few times because I still need to work on my marksman skill too, right? Gotta be careful. I don't want to. I don't want the cattle. Be careful. Don't hit the cattle. Um. All right, my my spell wore off. You should be coming after me now. No, you're not. You're gonna. All right. I'll just wait here for you. You're gonna come back before my bow like unsummons. There you are. Uh, all right, let's Elton brand her down and back to sneaking Siri you look like you have a full set of ebony armor, and I'm right Huh Well if I wanted to if I wanted to transition into heavy armor This would definitely be uh, this what I would be using so let's actually drop all this stuff here because if I leave it on her person when the body decomposes, when she disappears, we're not going to be able to get this uh, ebony armor. But that is a full suit of ebony. Awesome. Oh wait, I could take my arrow back. Thank you very much. Um, awesome. We're gonna we're gonna quick save there. So we've we've taken down how many now? Uh, I've lost count. We we we've killed some some vampires. Um, there's got to be at least ten, right? All right, let's uh, make sure we use the the John Cena here to get uh, close to this one. Yeah, as long as we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a chameleon effect on us, um, these ones here, uh, or no, nobody's going to be able to actually Die! initiate combat with us. Yeah, they always just like to run away. Uh, this is just cattle. Let's just let's chase her down. Come back. We know she went this way. She had has to have gone this way. Oh, this is kind of cool. Like we we know which way she went, but there was there was a little bit of a uh, suspense. There we go, and she's got a f almost a full set of glass, kind of. Uh, yeah, she's got a decent decent amount of uh, glass. Ooh, Volrina Quara's uh, key. Now part of me is like, oh yeah, gotta gotta take the gotta take the the key. Um, but if I take the key. Then I, I don't get to manually try to pick a lock, and I want to be able to pick a lock. Uh, fortify Magica. Sure, why not? I'll take the key. I'll just make sure to to lock every uh, or we'll say check every door before I open it to make sure that I am unlocking uh, the door uh, using a lock pick and not the not the key. And we'll use the key as a last last ditch effort, last resort. All right. So I believe there's uh, another what two. I don't think the cattle uh, will uh, actually attack you. Wait, is this it? What was the key for? Okay, I don't think I need to sneak around anymore. Uh, let me see, what do we got? Dweemer goblets. Oh, is that a, a Dweemer coin? I see you. Uh, okay, sorry. Was that your coin? Get away from me, vampire. <laughs> That'd be awesome if I got a bounty for for pick, gra stealing uh, an Argonian's. Uh, Dwimmer coin. Uh, Dwimmer mug. Is this, this is where you guys hang out when you're not being like fed on by vampires? Man, that's that sucks. Uh, the steel quarter keg, a lock level sixty. This is a very suspicious keg to me. Like, who puts a lo who puts a lock on a keg? There's got to be some like amazing stuff in here. All right. Wow. All right. Lockpick success. Blood of the Quora masters. Wow, value of 5,000. Telekinesis? 
Chameleon fortify strength. Yeah, the, the 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 duration of these things is garbage, but the value, hmm. Looking at the value of this, um, is making me consider if this is a. Or really, are you calling me a thief? Okay, as, as long as they're not putting bounties on my head. It's like some, uh, <laughs> some Argonians who, you know, I, I killed all their masters so they could actually be free. Um, they decided to, uh, to report me, put it back. No, no, I will not. This is, this is what I do, and I do it well. Um, that potion strikes me as, um, as, a, as a, a quest item. There's no reason, based on the effects, just just looking at the effects of that uh, of that potion, uh, the short duration uh, and everything. To me, there's no reason for that thing to be worth five thousand um, five thousand drakes. I believe I, I believe we're calling them drakes, right? What are they? What do they officially call? I just know it's like gold, right? Uh, where's my money? It just says gold. Okay. Uh, I believe I, I, I've. I'm trying to remember, I, I, uh, cause I know in, uh, like, in Oblivion and Skyrim, actually, is it in Skyrim? I know in Oblivion they, they refer to them as septums, right? But, I'm, I'm wondering, is that because, you know, you're at the, um, uh, ooh, what's the time? It's 5 a.m., the sun's about to come up. Where are we at? Eh, just kind of hoping to get down to around Ald Run. Uh, cause there was another, uh, vampire den by there, cause I know we've cle cleared this one out, but I know that by Ald Run, there's another, uh, another den uh, that I was originally going to uh, to get infected by, but then I was like, oh, that's right, there's, a, there's that other place. Um, I don't think I'll be able to make it. No, I think it's probably best for me to hide out. Um, what the heck? Oh, I thought the the Betty Netch was attacking me. It's like you hurt my cliff racer, buddy. Um, 5 a.m. Uh, I don't think I'll make it. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make a run for it. We're gonna try to make our way to uh, to Ald Run uh, because I know that there is a um, a vampire nest just to the north of them, I believe. It it's it's not too far away. No, south, south. I, I think I remember. Um, See, so yeah, I'm gonna try to make my way over there uh, down to Ald Run. Uh, this is actually a uh, it's actually gonna be kind of a perilous. Uh, run because I'm gonna to have to to jump to get the um, the speed needed to get there But jumping is going to drain my fatigue, which is gonna make fighting even harder. All right, let's let's see, let's see if we can uh, Let's see if we can make it. I don't think we can uh, No, no, actually we won't because if we <laughs> Yes, yeah, so let's examine the map um, we're, we're going down this way uh, oh yeah, there we go. We, we we do have an opening that we can sort of hook off to the uh, the other um, down this way towards uh, Alderaan. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but let's, we've I've got to try. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when I get to uh, either death or uh, I have to stop somewhere for the day, uh, or we actually make it to Alderaan. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. The the sun damage is already starting. All right, actually, you know what, guys? Um, I'm looking at the time I've got to record left, and I'm looking at where I'm currently at. I'm at uh, uh, Felas Marion. And I, le I left a note here saying that it was incomplete, so I have not finished uh, this area. So I'm like, you know what? I'll come in here. We'll finish this off during uh, the, the following day here that, I'm, that we're about to... Uh... Oh, there's some creepy stuff in here. Um, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to come in here. Um, and, uh, we'll stay here for the, uh, for the day. We'll, we'll clear this out, rest if we need to. Um, I'm gonna kill this thing because, uh, I know when I load my save, I'm no longer going to be sneaking, and I know this thing is probably going to, uh, hurt me. This looks like a sixth house, Ascended Sleeper. Ha! Thou art ascended! I don't know what that even meant. Um, I'll leave that. I, I love how the effect is, is it's like, it's captured in in mid-effect, uh, 
or like the, the uh, that's the whole thing is just frozen in mid-effect. Like there was something wrong, the animation just sort of stopped. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that'll persist through the save. Whatever. Anyways, next time we'll uh, we'll complete this area because it's I guess it's a long time coming that we we have we I guess we couldn't handle it. We had to run away because we were too weak at the time. Um, but I'm pretty sure we can handle anything in here now. Uh, we'll clear this uh, this dungeon out uh, and then continue killing vampires next time. But until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.